My husband was doing CrossFit and I was pregnant with our son and he would come home and tell me how he would win and got his name circled and I wanted to win and get my name circled too. So um, after, after I had my son, started doing CrossFit. Um, they did a push-pull at the gym that I was training at and I won that and never looked back. So um, I think that just goes back to being to being committed to the goal and understanding that I may not feel happy-go-lucky and super pumped to be training all the time, but I know I need to show up and make a deposit in the bank and get the work done so I can, you know, cash in, cash in when it's time. Going back to that, being committed and understanding what it, what it looks like to be committed to a goal and having to show up even when you don't feel like it, you know, all that carries over to the rest of my life. So, you know, I'm, try harder, try harder at every, at every other aspect of my life. So I think um, if I couldn't train, I would lack that, you know, lack the drive to, to do anything worth doing. You know, I think I would just be like, Going through, the, going through the motions of life and not, you know, not having an effort or a direction. Um, sleep. <laughs> you know, I, I train, I train early in the morning, so, um, you know, definitely getting up and going to the gym and missing the mornings of getting my kids ready for school and making them breakfast and sending them off, you know, I let my husband handle that, which, um, you know, sometimes, sometimes I feel sad missing those mornings. Like if it's picture day, you know, not fixing my daughter's hair, even though sometimes I'll, I will, you know, squeeze that in, but little things like that, like, uh, missing those mornings or if I have to travel, like for instance, now it's spring break, they're on spring break and I'm here. So, you know, those, those sorts of things you kind of, it, it's a give and take. Um, but I think my children understand that. They see that, they see that commitment level. You know, I model behavior that I hope that one day they will, you know, they'll understand that and they'll have that behavior too. That sometimes if you're committed to a goal and you want to do something big, you're going to have to, you know, there's going to be sacrifice in other areas of your life and that's okay. And hopefully the people that you've surrounded yourself with understand that and don't carry resentment, but support it. It's still going to be that first Worlds, 2017 Worlds that I did because, you know, as growing up as a, as a, as a kid playing sports, I typically could not perform under pressure. I would always choke. And so that first world's experience, I finally, you know, finally overcame that. I kind of like shut the door on the Jennifer that chokes, the Jennifer that doesn't perform. And um, so that first, the first world's is always gonna be, always gonna be the, my most proudest achievement. I think like ultimately I just want people to not people I mean I just want to be thought of as you know like one of the greatest I want I want people to think of me as somebody that that went for it um ultimately that's the goal I mean I don't know I just want to keep winning <laughs> I train to win.